Hiya folks, it's Boxing Day. I'm back home after a nice Christmas at my mother and father-in-law's house. And I've got 5k easy on the plan today. I'm going to be hitting the trails because I don't always get a chance to run during the day. But we've been off work this week. And I can do, so I've got the mud claws on to cope with the uh, sloppy mess that will no doubt be out in some of the fields. And just gonna do a nice 5k loop from this point. So while I'm out today, I thought to just go through the running related gifts that I got for Christmas. My wife kindly picked me a few items off of my Amazon wish list. Uh, I've got one of them with me today, so I'll just uh, briefly go through what I got. As predicted by the state of the river, which was moderately deep today, but not too bad, it's moderately muddy. <laughs> so the first gift, and the one I've got with me to try out today, is these nice warm water resistant or hopefully waterproof gloves yeah they seem to get some good reviews on Amazon some people said they weren't entirely waterproof but I'm sure they'll do the job for what I need uh, they have got some kind of waterproof layer within there they're certainly nice and cozy well padded and they've got the little pads on so I'll be able to use my phone if necessary I think my cold's gradually getting better it's definitely still there though bit of a runny nose and occasional cough and still taking the lem sip just to uh, ease off the congestion and headaches that come along from time to time but I think I might be on the mend <laughs> hope so I've got hill session tomorrow <laughs> that'll be interesting I decided I'm gonna try tackling the trails for my hill sessions while I can uh, certainly when it's during the daylight just so it's slightly softer terrain I did them all on the roads when I did my last ultra training the next present was a new improved battery for the GoPro I'm not using it today it's one of the new Enduro batteries I think you get them included with the later models but mine's the Hero 10 black uh, which came with the standard batteries so the Enduro ones are supposed to last longer on a charge and also work better in cold conditions so over the course of this winter I imagine I'll get some good use out of it and it'll be nice to have something that's going to last longer so on race day for example when I do the ultra next year it should see me through the race looks like the wind's taking another victim got this tree across the path pretty heavy have to hurdle it So, I checked the mandatory kit list for the race uh, a while back and I put some of the items on my Amazon list so I could pick them up before race day. Uh, one of which my wife's already bought me, so I've got the emergency blanket which you've got to take with you. That's one thing ticked off. I think I just need to get a decent whistle now. I think there is one of those tiny ones that may as well have come out of a Christmas cracker, uh, kind of attached to my race vest. But I'm not sure I'd trust that in an emergency and the mandatory, kit, mandatory kit's there for a reason so I don't think coping with the bare minimum is uh, the best way to go necessarily so I think that covers my uh, Christmas running gift haul <laughs> got those three items uh, I'll be trying out the new GoPro battery at some point gotta make sure it's charged up before I do that did you guys get any running stuff for Christmas? let us know in the comments Maybe got some stuff that was more exciting than my haul, but I'm definitely pleased with what I got. The gloves are super cosy. Can't wait to try them out on a rainy day, just to see if they help with that situation. So those woolen gloves I went out in last time, yeah, they were making my hands freeze in the wet. So yeah, hopefully I've solved that problem. So I'm just on the Five Fits Trail, heading in the opposite direction now. Need to remember to turn off somewhere I don't usually go. I haven't been there for a while. I have a feeling there's going to be some muddy fields that way but well, the mud claws have been great so far as always
some nice big holes to drop into in this field. <laughs> Thankfully they're all soft and squidgy. Yes, this was the field I was looking forward to. <laughs> Definitely the muddiest and wettest so far. And there's a really steep drop down into a valley shortly. So it's usually really muddy and slippery. And then you have to climb up the other side. <laughs> See how the mud clothes cope with that. That's the super muddy route. Looks like some people skirt around this way. Seems to make sense, although even this way isn't dry. And then you can sometimes do some more skirting or head into that stuff <sighs> more brambles this way trick decision up about a kilo of extra weight in mud as I cross the field there. Hopefully that'll come off now. The rest of the route's more road than trail. There we go then, 5k easy done. So that's the second run of week five. The hills and strength begins this week. So tomorrow I've got the first hill session. So uh, I'll see if that trail route suits me does mean making my way through that really muddy bit to start with so it's a bit of a downside of that that decision otherwise I can do it on the road like I did last time but yeah I'll let you know tomorrow how that goes anyway but thanks for watching long if you do want to subscribe to my channel it is free just press the button and watch the subscriber account go up by one thanks again guys I'll see you soon